Michael Warren is an internationally renowned sculptor from Wexford. His monumental pieces are on display across the globe. Many people in Ireland would have seen his work without realising it outside buildings and in public spaces across the country. His exhibition of new work unusually asks the public to participate by touching and moving the art itself. Michael, the exhibition is called Those Who Go, Those Who Stay. Can you tell me about the title of the exhibition? I, I pinched the title from uh, an Italian painter, a man called um, Umberto Boccioni. He did a trilogy of paintings that are set in a railway station. He observed those people that were departing and leaving. Mm. He recognised that there was a loneliness and there was an anguish and dazed confusion in those that were going. And those that remained behind on the platform, those that stay, he saw kind of a, he read into them a sort of weight of sadness. And mm. it was that sort of psychological, imaginative reading that I was keen to import into the exhibition. I would feel that with this particular piece, something is actually happening. They're kind of going to, going fro, uh, that way and that way. In contrast to, say, this piece, which is entitled, Those Who Saw Them Off. Right. Again, we're still in the railway station. And this is, you know, the, you know, the dramatic moment, if you like, mm. has already passed. I mean, there's, the you know, loved ones have, have gone. The train has ended and there they are. And, you know, there's even a sort of a, a protectiveness of one behind the other. And this is the first exhibition where you've worked with wood and metal. Was that, was that something you've always wanted to do? I think that, you know, the cold, impersonal steel accentuates, I'm a little bit reluctant to say sort of flesh, but I mean, the, the curve at the bottom gives a kind of a vulnerability to them. Quite unusually for um, an exhibition, you want people to come along, you want them to touch the material and move it and sort of get stuck in. It's a bodily thing. It's, it's kind of totally nothing to do with emotion or intellectualism, just too much of that. It is a physical thing. And in a sense, by asking people mm. to come in and become, as it were, part of the thing, the, you know, the, the potential to slide, to move, the thing is deliberately incomplete. The work becomes complete by the participation. I think there's a sense of expectation um, here, almost very much like you know, the stage drawn in a, in a tableau in a, in a theatre. And this one feels as if things are just about to happen. It's a different kind of drama. Mm. Yeah. Well, even if, yeah, actually, I, yeah, I like, I like this. Yeah, now, that's, that's more, uh, it's something more architectural, isn't it, by closing those things mm. off? Um, and the space really is like part of the sculpture in a very obvious way. Yeah, yeah. I think it's very important that, that you can imaginatively kind of, you know, dream or read into them. And I think it's terribly important for me not to be too leading with, with my titles or, or, or to impose. The whole, the, whole, the whole thing about them is that, that you know, they're not fixed in any way, either physically or interpretatively and that, you know, that there is that element of, as I was saying before, you know, completing the work by, by literal manipulation. So it's great value because you've got like 10 works of art in one. Exactly, exactly.